Hi, my name is Jonathan Burns, and I'm a comedian, a contortionist, and all-around show-off. Very often I get to travel around the world doing shows, and I've even been on TV. That's one of my favorites. Today I'm going to read Jack and the Flum Flum Tree by Julia Donaldson and illustrated by David Roberts. Come with me! Jack had a granny, and his granny had spots. Great big purple ones, lots and lots. The doctor came in, and he shook his head. Your granny has the moozles, the doctor said. And the only cure in the world, said he, is the fruit that grows on the flum flum tree. And the only place that the flum flum grows is the faraway isle of blow your nose. So Jack built a boat, and Jack found a crew. Red-cheeked Rosie and stubble-cheeked Stu. And he said to Stu, and he said to Rose, We're off to the Isle of Blow Your Nose. Granny came down to the dock with Jack, and she gave him a bulgy patchwork sack. And in that sack were a pair of wooden spoons, a porridge bowl, tent pegs, and some red and blue balloons. Granny's old skipping rope, a pack of chewing gum, three spotty hankies, and a tom-tom drum. And Jack said, Granny, what is the use of those? Aha, uh -huh, said Granny as she tapped her nose. Then off sailed Jack with Stu and Rose for the faraway isle of blow your nose. Sharks, cried Rose. Lots, cried Stu. They'll gobble us up. They'll guzzle us. Whatever shall we do? Don't get your knickers in a twist, said Jack. Let's have a look in the patchwork sack. Red balloons, blue balloons, they should do the trick. Puff, puff, blow them up. Let them go, quick. <laughs> then the sharks went nip and the sharks went gnash, chasing those balloons with a bang, pop, splash. A leak, cried Rose. It's wet, cried Stu. The boat is full of water. Whatever shall we do? Don't get your dickers in a twist, said Jack. Let's have a look in the patchwork sack. Granny's pack of chewing gum. That should do the trick. Chew it up, stretch it out, stick it in quick. And they bailed out the water with Granny's porridge bowl. Then on sailed Jack with Stu and Rose for the faraway isle of blow your nose. Whoops, cried Rose. Help, cried Stu. I can't swim for toffee. Whatever will you do? Don't get your knickers in a twist, said Jack. Let's have a look in the patchwork sack. Granny's old skipping rope, that should do the trick. Hold tight, throw it out, grab the handle quick. So they heaved and they hauled and they pulled Stu in. Good old Granny, she saved my skin. Then on sailed Jack with Stu and Rose till they came to the Isle of Blow Your Nose. And there on a hill for all to see stood the bright green feathery flum flum tree. It's tall, cried Rose. It's smooth, cried Stu. It's not got any branches. Whatever shall we do? Don't get your knickers in a twist, said Jack. Let's have a look in the patchwork sack. Granny's bag of tent pegs. They should do the trick. Bang, bang, knock them in. Climb the tree, quick. Then up went Rose, as nimble as can be, and she brought down the fruit of the flum flum tree. Then Jack and Stu and Rose had a doze on the soft sandy beach of Blow Your Nose. A thief, cried Rose, a monkey, yelled Stu. He's got our precious flum flum, whatever shall we do? Don't get your knickers in a twist, said Jack. Let's have a look in the patchwork sack. Granny Spoons and Tom Tom, they should do the trick. Pick them up, thump thump, sing a song quick. The monkey crept closer and he listened to the tunes. He put down the flum flum and he grabbed the wooden spoons. Then back sailed Jack with Stu and Rose all the way home from Blow Your Nose. Granny ate the flum flum, the moozles disappeared. She's cured, said the doctor, and everyone cheered. And Jack said, thank you for the pair of wooden spoons, the porridge bowl, the skipping rope, and the red and blue balloons. Thank you for the tent peg and the pack of chewing gum. And thank you, Granny, for the tom-tom drum. But the three spotty hankies, what was the use of those? The hankies, silly, were to blow your nose. <laughs> I love that book. Well, I... 
Oh no, it looks like I have the, <laughs> the moozles. Siri, directions to the Isle of Blow Your Nose. That's correct, yeah. No! Oh my God! Penn and Teller might not bust this next act, but they'll definitely take his lunch money. Here is Jonathan Burns. Behold, magic. <laughs> they call me the cheese whiz. <laughs> I used to work at a casino in Wisconsin. Shy kid at gym class. <laughs> <laughs> 